Nearly every minute, a child aged five or younger dies of malaria, most of them in Africa. A new vaccine developed by Oxford University and manufactured in India hopes to change that. But the speed at which it's been approved in Ghana and without World Health Organization endorsement has some worried. What is the government up to? I will not allow my children to be vaccinated. We have heard about children dying or left with physical deformities after taking some medicines and vaccines. Is the government thinking about the safety of our children at all? I will only use the vaccine after countries have gone through the trials and the WHO approves it. Scientists at Oxford say research suggests the R21 jab is 75% effective. Detailed data from large-scale trials is not yet publicly available, but Ghana's government is confident it's made the right decision. We are talking about 200,000, 300,000, 400,000 children dying of malaria every year. And if you can save even half of that number with a vaccine that is not as efficient as you want it to be, that is still good enough. Okay. So R21's uh, approval by Ghana's FDA is not so much out of place, although the wish would have been that we waited a bit for the WHO to do their testing. The WHO says regulatory authorities from at least 10 African countries are considering the vaccine. Scientists say the jab can be produced at mass scale and relatively low cost. It's already undergone trials in the UK, Thailand and several African nations. The FDA, with all its capacities and competencies, certainly has looked at the dossier that was presented to it and uh, 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 I have no doubt that they based the, their their decision on what was in the dossier. Unfortunately, that dossier that was shared with F FDA, uh, Ghana, and indeed Nigeria was not, was not sh has not been shared with us as WHO. The WHO approved the world's first malaria vaccine, Moscrix, last year, but a lack of funding has delayed its rollout. And with around 660,000 people dying from the mosquito-borne disease every year, countries are desperate to find an alternative. Alex Beard, Al Jazeera.